Our tech expert, Francie Black, has received several emails with your questions about printing from mobile devices. So in tech time, we're answering those questions. And I have the same questions. I don't have a printer <laughs> hooked up in my house, but you have all these photos and recipes and things that are just saved. What do you do with them? Yeah, and I'm going to answer that for you right here. So right. actually, what Debbie actually just sent in this question. I have lots of recipes saved on my iPad. Is there a place I can go to have them printed? So um, the way that wireless printing works is most of the wireless printers nowadays support what's called Apple AirPrint. So if you're on an iOS device, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to um, your picture, your website, whatever page you want to print, choose the forward icon or the share icon, and choose print and you're done. It's literally that easy. Now you have to be on the same wireless printer. Okay. okay so I we said wireless them. network, excuse me. But what yeah. kind of printer do we need? Okay, oh, one that supports wireless direct printing. Okay. okay, so this is an Epson one. This is a brand new one. This is their EcoTank technology, which you're gonna get into in just a minute because it's really cool Some of their, so you can get lots more printing. Now, if you're on an Android device, okay, it's a little bit different. On an Android device, it didn't support direct wireless printing until um, KitKat 4.4. Okay, and the way that you can check to see if your device supports it is go into the menu option and see if you get print while you're on the same wireless network as your printer. Okay. If you don't see print, then you can go to the Google Play Store, see if they have an app that will support your printer. Okay. So it's a little trickier with Google, but the newer ones support it pretty well. Now, another thing with the new printers, especially like this Epson, is it has an email feature. Okay. So this is one of the things you want to look for when you're looking at a printer, is make sure that it supports the Apple AirPrint, the Google printing, and um, email printing. You can print from anywhere in the world. This gets assigned an email address. You email your document, your attachment, your picture to the printer, and it'll be sitting it'll be there. And it'll be there ready and waiting for okay, you. Okay, it's like a job. You basically send it to it. Exactly. Okay. And it's really great. Now, if you don't have a printer and you still need to get printed, you can go to the UPS store or FedEx office store and go print those recipes if you don't have a printer and you don't want to acquire one. Right. Okay, so one of the really cool things I wanted to introduce to you is the new EcoTank printers from Epson. So the classic problem with inkjet printers is runs out of ink. Yeah, and it's expensive. And it's very, very expensive. So this is brand new technology that just came out from Epson. You have it's liquid ink that lasts up to two years with the initial uh, print ink that comes wow. with it. So it's a liquid printer with all the different colors. These okay. are only about twelve dollars for refills. So twelve dollars, <laughs> so much cheaper. So much cheaper. Constant printing, fast speed. These are really nice, and these are the Epson Eco Tank. And so you can get a less expensive one all the way down for a home printer for three seventy nine, all the way up to a, one for office for about a thousand dollars. Okay. So great solution, great option. Really neat. I really enjoy this. I just got this in. So very fancy, yeah. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. If you want to learn more about the apps and the printer, of course, go to wls.com. Click on Tech Time. Also, just go to Francie's website, iPadWisdom.com. You'll want to make sure you sign up for her e-newsletter because she's got tips about everything under the sun on there. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Back over to you.